everyone, me again, welcome back to Eximilia X and my March favourites video. I'm going to be telling you all of the beauty and lifestyle products that I've been living throughout the month of March, so keep watching if you want to find out what they are. First of all, I cannot believe it's time for another favourites video. It really just seemed like yesterday when I filmed my last one and I just can't believe how quickly the year is going by. It's not a bad thing, I mean we're going into spring and summer so the nicer weather hopefully is on the way, but it just really feels like it's completely, it's just flying by this year, so I really feel like I need to like grab it and do everything I can do with it and shake it and stuff like this. Second of all, I apologise for my hands. I am currently swatching some of the Tanya Burr um, nail polishes from her new collection and um, I tend to swatch one on one hand and one on the other just to save myself a little bit of time. Um, so I think I'm, I'm wearing peaches and cream and little duck um, and they're really really beautiful colours but if you want to check out my review on those and reviews on all of my beauty products I have a beauty and lifestyle and fashion and food kind of an everything blog um, and that's xameliax.com um, and you can follow me on Tumblr or on Blog Lovin. I will leave the links below um, please do come and check it out I think you might like it if you're into your beauty and your lifestyle stuff First is a beauty product that has been saving my life recently. As you can probably see, my skin really isn't the best at the moment. I'm an acne sufferer, I always have been an acne sufferer, but recently it's broken out like crazy. Um, whether that's because I haven't been sleeping very well or I've been a little bit stressed with work or I've changed my diet up a little bit, I'm not sure. Um, but this product has really been helping me. I think I mentioned it in one of my other favourites videos as well, because ever since I got this, I have absolutely loved it. So if you suffer from acne, Acne, listen up because this is a life-saving product. It's the Mirumea Concentrated Spot Treatment. Now I have tried quite a number of spot treatments in my time and I haven't found one that works as well as this. It's incredible, it's just an on-the-spot treatment that you pop on before you go to bed or in the morning and it kind of dries up any blemishes that you have without drying them out. A lot of them are really really harsh and they make them go all crusty and flaky and horrible and you can't cover them with your makeup and they just look awful. This dries out the blemishes without actually drying them out um, and it's so so good this works on most kind of blemishes like the really big horrible painful ones or the little tiny little ones as well put it on anything and it will clear them up almost instantly some of these have honestly cleared up for me overnight when I've been using this now it's not cheap I think it's about 16 pounds for this tiny little bottle but I've been using this for about three months and I'm only just starting to get towards the bottom and I will 100% be rebuying this this has just been an amazing find so it had to go in my March favourites if you are an acne sufferer, definitely check this out. I will pop a link below to a blog post with a link on where you can buy this because it's amazing. Next is a new beauty product toy. I know I am late to the party with this one, but I only just managed to get my hands on it. It's the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. It's teeny, teeny, tiny. I will be doing a blog post on this. I think it's going to be going out next week. So um, again, come and follow my blog and you'll be able to see that. But the brush is super, super tiny and you can just use it for your bottom lashes and it coats every single lash and it doesn't smudge, it doesn't smear. It's amazing. I don't... I. I've only recently kind of started to use things on the bottom of my eyes um, and I was trying to do it with my mascara but it was just smudging everywhere and it was too much hassle and it looked awful so I thought I would give this Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara a go and honestly it's amazing. I think it's £12 for this teeny little tube but it's going to last you forever and it is well worth the investment because it just lasts all day and I think it just really helps open up the eyes and I love it so this is definitely in my March favourites. Another product might seem like a silly one but it's one that's been saving my life and I have been using to death. It's the Batiste Floral Dry Shampoo. I love Batiste. Batiste is something that I cannot live without. Um, I've tried other brands of dry shampoo and none of them really compare to Batiste uh, for me so Batiste is just the best. If you haven't tried this one it's really really pretty and the bottle just reminds me of spring so that's the reason kind of why I've been reaching for this one recently but it's just a really fresh scent and it just helps to spruce up your hair. I do a lot of, well, I'm a kickboxer so I do a lot of exercise pretty much most nights and it really takes its toll on your hair especially when it's as long as mine if you're washing it every single day. So dry shampoo is a must and this is my favourite flavour. I would say flavour, it's not really flavour, it's probably a scent. Do not eat them. Um, but yeah this is my favourite scent at the moment and I love it. So that has got to go in my favourites video because I've been using it every day. 
a proper scent now is uh, the perfume that I've been reaching for throughout this past month and it was featured in my Valentine's Day gift guide video. It's the Chloe Eau de Roses scent. This is just beautiful. If you like rose scented things um, you would absolutely love this perfume and it's in such a cute bottle as well. I can't get enough of this perfume. It's so so pretty, really pink, really girly and it just reminds me of spring. So this is the perfect kind of perfume for that transition from the horrible dark winter months into the lovely light spring months as well. Another thing I've been reaching for a lot is my Yankee Candle in Soft Blanket. Now those of you who watch this channel for a while or read my blog will know that I have developed quite a serious candle obsession but I make sure I keep all my big expensive candles at Joe, my boyfriend's house, so at the weekends I can enjoy them and I can burn them because otherwise I would just burn them all the time and they would be gone straight away. But I do have one of my absolute favourite candles that I keep in my bedroom and that's Yankee Candle Soft Blanket blanket. As you can see I've only got the little one so I kind of do need to invest in a giant jar of this one because it's just my absolute favourite scent. It's so comforting and the lid is really stiff. It's just so comforting. It really does smell like a soft, like a baby blanket, like a freshly washed soft baby blanket. It smells like a duvet day, that's what it smells like. Um, and it's kind of one of those scents that doesn't overpower the room when you light it. You don't walk into a room and think, oh, there's a candle burning here. You just walk in and think, this room smells amazing. I love it. I've been burning it every single night, hence why I'm nearly at the bottom of it. Um, and it's just amazing. So if you're looking for a really subtle kind of room scent, I would definitely recommend Yankee Candle Soft Blanket. And that guys is it, not a very long one this month. I have been trying out quite a few new products on my blog, so maybe they might be featuring in next month's favourites video. But um, kind of like ready for spring beauty and lifestyle essentials I think this month. I did want to say just as a last point, thank you so much to everybody that's followed me on Twitter. My Twitter followers have just gone up quite a lot recently and I can only imagine it's you guys that are following me. I'm at X Amelia X. If you do follow me on Twitter, drop me a tweet and say that you're from YouTube so I know where you've all come from. Um, I'm also on Instagram as well if you like to Instagram your pictures. I'm also at X Amelia X on there so you'll be able to find me. Um, but if you want to read my blog then please, please do. A lot of you probably watching this don't maybe don't realise that I write a blog as well. Um, I post pretty much every day during the week and then some lifestyle posts at the weekend. Um, so it's quite a nice mix. Lots of beauty reviews, some food, some fashion, um, lots of lifestyle bits and bobs. So if you like that kind of stuff then definitely come follow me. You can follow me through Blog Loving, that's probably the easiest way if you use Blog Loving already. Or if you're on Tumblr, that's where my blog is hosted, so you can find me there. Or obviously on Twitter or Facebook as well, I've got a Facebook page, so if you prefer to keep up with your blogs that way, um, come follow me there. But do let me know, I'd like to know, how do you like to follow um, people's blogs? If you just leave me a comment below, let me know whether that's on Twitter, Facebook, um, Blog Loving, on the actual website itself, RSS feed, whatever. Whatever. leave me a comment below let me know how you like to follow your favorite favorite blogs but as always thank you very much for watching don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video share it as much as possible so we can grow our YouTube family and leave me a comment below let me know your favorite product through the month of March but thank you very much for watching I've said that about three times thank you thank you um, and I'll see you again soon bye coat which is the base coat I absolutely rave about I love it and you will have to excuse my nails at the moment I look like a crazy person because I've been swatching the new Barry M silk collection